right to the crux of the matter I see. Well here's the answer, currently this is the mightiest production super saloon of them all. Others may have more torque, Bentley Mulsanne speed, or a higher top speed, Porsche Panamera Turbo, be more dexterous, the Alfa Giulia Quadrifoglio, or be able to match the E63's Titanic acceleration, the Panamera again, but doing the actual business of being a menacing, growling super saloon. The Mercedes E63 all the way. Good news, now wind back a bit and tell me what else is new. Well, the heart of any AMG is its engine, in this case the familiar 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8. It's not lifted lock, stock from other AMGs, instead there are new biter pistons, air intakes, a charge air cooling system, cylinder shut off, between 1000 to 3250 revolutions per minute in comfort mode, and, most importantly, a pair of twin scroll turbos which means exhaust gases enter the turbo through two pipes rather than one. This smooths out the air pulses and improves response and torque at low revs. The 9-speed multi-clutch transmission fires all this power and torque, 604 bhp and a frankly ridiculous 626 pounds foot at just 2,500 revolutions per minute, at all four wheels. Or alternatively, just the rears. Is drift mode standard? Yes, provided you have this, the 88,295 pounds E63S, not the lesser 78,935 pounds E63. Besides the opportunity to impersonate Chris Harris on your way to a massive accident, the S features an extra 41 bhp and 73 pounds foot, bigger brakes, a cleverer vectoring diff, a track pace app and dynamic engine mounts. Worth it? If I'm honest, probably only in terms of bragging rights. I think a 567 bhp slash 553 pounds foot E63 is going to feel plenty fast enough. Although the E63 has such a big personality, it's much more extrovert than an Audi RS6 or BMW M5, there's an argument you might as well have the most extrovert one. Conclusions? I think this is a statement car from Mercedes. It feels as if they've poured everything they know into it and at the moment I think this is the most compelling, exciting super saloon of them all. Much more exciting than a Panamera Turbo, and better controlled, too, more hardcore and more neutrally balanced than an RS6. It's a very, very effective cross-country weapon. Put it this way, the new M5 lands this autumn and I reckon it's going to have its work cut out.